All right, so you are given this information and you have the change in feet and month of this, I think it's an aquifer, right? Yeah, so the ch change here is the change that is happening e each month. So what I do to make this a little easier is I throw it in Excel and I do an equal. I take the previous month plus this month. So this would be the change. So it's positive, so it went up 1.3 feet. And I could continue to do this. I can do equal this value and then plus how it changed previously. And I could do that till I get to the very end and I'm just copying this formula because I'm lazy. And so based off of this now, I can come in and answer different questions. So the first question, you can't see it, but it's asking on mine to find L of 5, which means the level, not the change. These are the actual changes, okay? So somewhere it told me that the starting level was 684.1. So that's where the level started. So all I have to do is take the starting level look here at oops if i can click the right thing look here at the fifth month because that's what l of five means and just simply what's the change 0.8 so i equal the starting level and then i add my change at the fifth month which is eight and so that gives me 68 684.9 all right, then the next thing it says, using these approximations, find the change in the water during the year. So this is net change for the entire year. I think it would be where you started from till where you ended, which would be I ended plus my, oh, that's my starting value, zero. That's easy enough. So this is my end right here, so the net change. And then mine asked me the highest the water level reaches during the year. Well, what I would have to do is start, so this is where I'm starting from at 684.1, and I would have to add this change. So I'd have to take this value plus that value, and of course there's no change. Then I would take this value plus that value. And I would continue to do this. And this is why I use Excel once again. I can copy this formula. And what I'm looking for is it's asking me the highest that the water level reaches during the year. And I believe it would be that value right there. So this is part C, the highest the water level during the year because that looks to be the largest value you know if you if you your eyes get buggy like me you know what you could do you could do a max and then highlight all these values and it would tell you where the max is in that in that precious the water level is the lowest now at the end of month number so you know what i could do i could do the min so the low put let me put right here well lowest would be the min, the min, not mind. So I find the smallest value here and it says it's this one, so I have to find it, but this one is asking me what month. So it would be at month 11.